Today that a $100 million rehabilitation of the Peace Bridge, including a new pedestrian walkway, is now complete. But there was another story to tell about it as we hear from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley, who takes you beyond the headlines. Among those from both sides of the border summoned to speak, the last seemed reluctant. I'm not used to speaking in front of a lot of people, so give me, give me a break here. Billy Friend was the only one without a suit and tie, which he'd never wear to work as foreman of a crew of iron workers who labored nearly three years on the project. His was the night crew, which worked mostly unnoticed. Most of us are not visible. We're underneath the bridge. In conditions you wouldn't want to be in. We had temperatures of minus 27. We had winds. We were pulling off the bridge one night. And we had wind gusts of 105 miles an hour. In the dark. There's shadows everywhere. People coming up with headlights. Pretty dangerous. A little drop of... Uh, snow when somebody steps on it freezes on the iron now you've got guys walking across that iron painted iron is slippery and nobody fell through a replacement of all the beams that support the bridge deck all of the railings across the span and each and every one of the pork chops you see those pieces that look like triangles coming up they're coming up from the bottom and they go up towards yeah. the fascia. We call them pork chops. Uh, they're cantilever brackets. They're holding up the outside. All of them are new all the way across the bridge. There are about 400 of them, some weighing several tons, held in place by tens of thousands of bolts, each hand torqued with a wrench. And over three years, hardly a day passed when he didn't think about the guys who put this together almost a century ago, bereft of modern equipment and safety gear. Iron workers are a proud group who feel that to do the job less than right would wrong the memory of those who came before. I can't say enough about the crew I had. I had a great crew. They made me look good. They're still making me look good. I've done some windmill work. I've done some building work. Most of my iron working career has been bridge work. For Billy, there's just something about bridges and something about this one in particular. And it looks beautiful, doesn't it? I mean, to me, it does. I, I think it's a special bridge. I really do. Why? Look at the marches. They, they start small in Canada and then they graduate and they get bigger all the way up until you get to the truss. Now that truss has an arch. Put another way. I hope you just like it. It's like I said, it's beautiful. Look at how nice and shiny it looks. But after 48 years of construction work, the last 25 as an iron worker, we just got the sense that for Billy, there may be other bridges to cross. And so we asked him. Billy, is this it for you? Is this it? Uh, I think it might be. He's got a small farm on the side, a few head of cattle hay to cut. And 61's as old as you want to be for climbing around that iron. You can't build a better bridge than this. I'm, I'm proud to be on this job. I love this bridge and I think I'll never top it. He was the one without the suit, the one you'll probably not hear of on the news again, the one reluctant to speak, but whose words got the biggest applause. I guess that's all I got. <laughs> Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.